Once dismissed as disgusting pests, mealworms are now being farmed by the billions in massive living factories, where Chinese farmers are earning millions from this tiny protein source. Welcome to AgriWorks USA, your trusted channel for uncovering the most unexpected innovations in modern agriculture. In this episode, we uncover how China is leading a quiet revolution in insect agriculture. Mealworms, long seen as little more than pet food, have transformed into a lucrative and scalable protein solution. Across sprawling vertical farms and smart controlled facilities, farmers are producing tens of thousands of tons annually, supplying everything from fish and poultry feed to high protein powders and organic fertilizer. Why are investors backing this wave? Why are scientists calling it a key to food sustainability? And how are Chinese farms turning low-cost brand into million-dollar outputs? This is the story of how one of nature's humblest creatures is reshaping the future of food. Stay with us as we explore the full journey, farming, processing, and potential behind the rise of the mighty mealworm. If you're fascinated by stories like this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to AgroWorks USA for more. What began as a niche hobby has transformed into a booming agricultural sector. In China, mealworm farming is now a thriving multi-million dollar industry with some commercial farms reporting annual revenues exceeding 50 million. These operations supply a growing network of buyers, from reptile breeders and fish farms to pet food companies and eco-conscious startups. Thanks to their compact farming footprint and high feed to protein conversion rate, Mealworms are ideal for both smallholders and industrial scale facilities. Across Southern and Western China, hundreds of vertical insect farms have emerged, forming a tightly integrated supply chain that covers everything from breeding and harvesting to export. But the market isn't limited to animal feed. High protein mealworm powders are increasingly used in health products and functional foods, tapping into the global demand for alternative protein sources. With rising investment and government support, China is positioning itself as a global leader in insect farming, setting the stage for mealworms to become a vital pillar of sustainable agriculture. The mealworm, despite its name, is actually the larval form of the darkling beetle, Tenebrio molitor, and mastering its life cycle is essential to maintaining a productive farm. The cycle includes four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult beetle. Under optimal conditions, temperatures between 25 to 28 degrees and low humidity, a single female can lay up to 100 eggs at a time, often embedded in nutrient-rich bedding like wheat bran or oats. These eggs hatch within 4 to 20 days, producing tiny larvae that feed actively and molt 10, 14 times over a period of 8 to 12 weeks. This larval stage is the most commercially valuable, rich in protein, and easy to harvest. As they grow, larvae are kept in dark, stacked trays that conserve space and encourage natural behaviors. Once fully grown, they pupate, forming a dormant stage that lasts anywhere from one to several weeks. Proper farm management requires frequent sorting to separate larvae, pupae, and adult beetles, each with different needs. Adult beetles are transferred to dedicated breeding trays to lay new eggs, ensuring uninterrupted production. Without this separation, beetles may cannibalize pupae in search of moisture, reducing yield and disrupting the breeding cycle. Do you think insects have the most optimal life cycle for agriculture? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more from AgroWorks USA. Mealworm farming in China operates on a compact yet highly efficient model centered around vertical tray systems housed in dark, climate-controlled rooms. Each plastic tray is filled with wheat bran or oats, serving both as bedding and primary nutrition. Moisture is supplied through fresh vegetables, typically carrots or potatoes, which provide hydration while minimizing humidity-related risks. Ideal growing conditions are maintained at temperatures between 20 degrees and moderate humidity levels, 
ensuring larvae grow rapidly while avoiding mold or mite outbreaks. Since mealworms are nocturnal, low-light environments reduce stress and support optimal development. Farmers monitor trays daily, adjusting feed levels and removing any diseased individuals to keep colonies healthy. Nutrition is crucial. Some farms fortify the diet with protein powders, yeast, or probiotic supplements to enhance larval growth and immunity. These nutritional upgrades, combined with strict environmental control, lead to faster development cycles and higher conversion rates. This low-cost, high-yield model enables even small-scale farmers to participate in a rapidly growing industry. With limited space, minimal water use, and strong market demand, the mealworm farming system offers a scalable solution for sustainable protein production and a new path to agricultural profitability. Running a successful mealworm farm isn't just about feeding insects. It requires constant cleaning and system control. Over time, trays fill up with frass, waste, shed exoskeletons, leftover feed, and a mixture of larvae, pupae, and beetles. Without regular upkeep, this buildup can cause overcrowding, humidity issues, and disease. Most farmers follow a weekly or bi-weekly cleaning schedule. Lightweight exoskeletons are first removed using handheld vacuums or gentle air blowing. Next, fine mesh sifters separate the frass from larvae, ensuring clean bedding. To sort the different life stages, farmers often use custom-made sifters with precise slats designed to isolate pupae and beetles without harming them. Pupae are placed in special rearing trays where they're safe from beetle attacks. Healthy adult beetles are moved to reproduction trays while deformed ones are discarded. After cleaning, trays are replenished with fresh, heat-treated wheat bran and moisture sources like carrots. This step-by-step -step approach transforms a messy insect tray into a well-organized protein production system reducing cross-contamination and improving breeding efficiency. This step-by-step -step approach transforms a messy insect tray into a well-organized protein production system, reducing cross-contamination and improving breeding efficiency. Are you surprised by how complex insect farming can be? Let us know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Mealworms reach optimal harvest size in about eight to 10 weeks depending on temperature, nutrition, and density. Farmers typically harvest larvae once they reach one to two inches in length before pupation begins. This stage ensures the highest protein content and soft body texture, ideal for both animal feed and human consumption. Harvesting is usually done through large-scale sifting systems that separate mature larvae from bedding, frass, and smaller worms. Some farms use automated conveyor belts and vibration-based sorters to handle massive volumes efficiently. The collected larvae are then transferred to the processing zone, where they undergo cleaning and dehydration. Drying is a critical step. Methods like freeze drying, air drying, or heat dehydration are chosen based on the end use. Freeze-dried larvae retain the most nutrients, making them suitable for health supplements or gourmet products. For feed and fertilizer, high temperature drying is more cost effective. In some facilities, the dried larvae are ground into fine powder used in protein bars, fish feed, or pet food. Others are shaped into pellets or mixed with other compounds to create insect-based snack products. This streamlined harvesting to processing cycle ensures product consistency, safety, and value, fueling the growth of a thriving insect protein economy. Mealworm farming offers a powerful environmental edge. It uses less land, water, and feed than traditional livestock, while producing far fewer greenhouse gas emissions. Even more impressive, mealworms can consume organic waste, like food scraps and crop residues, turning pollution into protein. From an ethical standpoint, mealworms present fewer dilemmas. Their basic nervous systems and natural preference for dark, Crowded spaces make them well-suited to high-density farming with minimal stress. This appeals to consumers seeking more humane protein alternatives. On the consumer side, 
insect-based foods are slowly gaining momentum. While some Western markets still hesitate, China leads the way, incorporating mealworms into snacks, pet food, and even premium health products. The shift from disgust to acceptance is underway. As global concerns about climate and ethics grow, mealworms stand out as a practical, planet-friendly protein, with rising consumer curiosity fueling the trend. Do you think farming insects is more ethical than raising livestock? Share your thoughts below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more insights from AgriWorks USA. China's mealworm industry is booming, fueled by demand for eco-friendly protein and diverse applications, from pet food and animal feed to organic fertilizers and biodegradable materials. Their ability to thrive on food waste and require minimal space makes them ideal for sustainable farming, even in urban areas. Yet challenges remain. Many small-scale farms lack automation, leading to labor-intensive sorting and inconsistent hygiene. Breeding conditions must be tightly controlled or productivity drops. Regulatory gaps also pose hurdles. Not all regions allow insect-based products in animal or human food, slowing international expansion. Despite the barriers, mealworms offer one of the most promising paths towards sustainable protein. With innovation and global collaboration, they could soon become a dietary and economic staple. From being dismissed as pests to now powering a multi-million dollar industry, mealworms are redefining what the future of farming looks like. But the question remains, are we farmers, consumers, and policymakers ready to fully embrace insects as mainstream protein? What are your thoughts on the rise of insect farming? Would you be open to trying mealworm-based foods or even farming them yourself? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of edible insects, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to AgriWorks USA, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a story from the front lines of sustainable farming. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.